at long last, after patiently waiting with no news on Battlefield 2042, we finally have dates for the beta test. If you pre-order the game, you'll get early access to the beta on the 6th of October, and the open beta starts on the 8th. The beta will run through the 9th, so we'll get a decent amount of time with the game before the beta ends. The Battlefield Twitter dropped a ton of images related to the beta as well. They provided a bunch of details on controller layouts and key bindings for KBM, as well as PC specs, both minimum and recommended, which I'm definitely happy about since I was seriously worried about my rig and if it would be able to handle it. To my relief, I think I'll be fine, but definitely check it out if you're going to be playing on PC. There is also a brief on the EA website that has more information, some of which has to do with the beta and mostly has to do with the full release. Uh, getting to some of these details, the beta will have a ton of weapons and attachments unlocked, so we can all play around with a lot of what the game has to offer in terms of loadouts. The playable map is Orbital, and we'll have four specialists to play with as well. That'll be Boris, Casper, Falk, and McKay. Their brief also mentions this is a chance for us to get used to the progression system. Ribbons return, so we'll get rewards for playing specific roles a la Battlefield 3 and 4. And we're getting something called player cards. These player cards look like they're similar in both aesthetic and function to Call of Duty's calling cards. Uh, you'll be able to make your own player card showing off player level, player icon and title, player card art, which is the background, and up to three badges you've earned by mastering your weapons, vehicles, gadgets, and specialists. When you kill an enemy, your player card is displayed for them, while enemies' cards are displayed for you when you get killed. The progression is pretty familiar, so there's nothing too crazy going on there. That is until you hit level 99. After that, you'll begin to gain S levels. You start at S001 and can level up all the way to S999, so you have a lot to level up with. However, there aren't any additional unlocks or rewards for S levels, rather it's just a way to show off. I doubt we'll see this in the beta, but it's something to keep in mind for the full release. A cool thing I wanted to mention regarding the full release itself is that Battlefield 2042 will have a cross-progression feature. As long as you play on the same EA account, you can play Battlefield 2042 with all your unlocks and progress on any platform, you know, sans a Switch. While I probably won't use this feature too much myself, I'm sure there's many who will, and I'm glad that more developers are adopting this practice into their games. Alright, it's time to talk about skins, because I feel like this part may be a point of contention for some people, mostly because of how this may affect 2042's monetization once the full game releases. The brief mentions there will be skins in the game for your loadout and specialist, and they can be earned or purchased. It is also mentioned that there will be rarity tiers for the cosmetics. These cosmetics are available in the following rarities. You have common, which is gray, rare is blue, epic is purple, and legendary is gold. Rare and epic specialist skins have both a headgear component and a body component. You can mix and match headgears with different bodies if you wish. However, legendary skins, the gold ones, are a single outfit and cannot be mixed with any other skin. As far as the weapon skins go, once applied, the skin will apply to the entirety of the weapon, and this includes attachments. This is something I wish Modern Warfare 2019 did, but glad it's being applied here in Battlefield. You'll also be able to have charms on your weapons as well. Uh, it's neat, though personally I never noticed them when I attached them. Some folks will enjoy this though, I'm sure. And there's some more details you can find in the article itself. I believe there's an interview in there with some of the devs as well. So definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And um, it's a lot to go through, <laughs> honestly, but it's uh, it just makes me excited to get into the beta as soon as I can. I haven't pre-ordered the game myself, so I'll be joining with the open beta wave on the 8th. And let's hope we don't see too many bugs. I'll have an impressions video similar to how I did one for Vanguard. If you haven't checked that out, I'll definitely have that as an end card or an I card, wh wherever. I definitely need to talk about that beta a little bit more because since I made that video, I played the Vanguard beta until it ended and holy shit, that game needs help, like bad. <laughs> Anyways, are you guys excited to get into the Battlefield 2042 beta as well? Let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out. All my socials are found in the description as well, so feel free to check those out. Stay hydrated, I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.